Florida with the residency, sophomore year as a member of the U-17 national team. He got called up to dress for the team for the last U-20 World Cup in South Korea, and he played a lot of minutes there, and as he liked to tell me, he scored a goal against New Zealand in the group stages. Uh, he joined Atlanta United's D-A team when he moved to, uh, even though most of his DDY teammates were graduating from high school, he moved to that Atlanta United D-A team. What was a better feeling, winning the MLS Cup or that scissor kick goal? I think the bicycle would be my favorite. Just cause, you know, doing it in front of your friends and classmates you see every day, that was a great feeling. What moment do you think, did you just kind of step back and think to yourself, wow, I can really go somewhere in this sport and this is something that I can maybe try to do for the rest of my life? Um, yeah, I've been, yeah, I've, you know, I've been playing soccer for a long time and the last, the last like the, one month before I signed, it was kind of crazy because I didn't know, like, you know, before Atlanta United was even made, like, I, I wasn't sure, like, what's my next step, if I'm going to go to college, or if I'm going to do this or that, like, I was, you know, I was just kind of stuck, but once Atlanta United came in, I joined the academy, and, and if you're in the academy, you play against the first team in, at training, and, you know, I would do, I would do well. And I was like, and I was just thinking to myself, like I could actually do this for, for the rest of my life, so. Did you ever find yourself struggling and like, did you, what, what were the things that you learned from your Paideia days that you think still help you today when you're playing for Atlanta United? Soccer wise. Yeah. Um, I think what helped me was the coach. He, he was really like, he was big on discipline and you know, you had to follow every rule and nothing was easy and he didn't care like he would, he would bench you if you don't but what do you think in your life right now has been the most important part that makes Lagos who he is today um i the most important thing i think is the support like it's like i've been through so much and without the support i don't think i don't know where i would be well, thank you for coming out. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. I'm sure everyone has had a very good time. Uh, good luck. Does anyone want to ask any questions for Lagos? Players and the veterans has really taken an interest in you and sort of, you know, try to be a mentor or get engaged with you or try to motivate you. So just that makes sense. I don't know if you still know him, but Kenwin Jones, Last year, he like really took me, cause when I signed, I signed like July, around July, and I, after the World Cup, I trained, cause my I signed July for, and my contract was ultimately like started in January, so I, you know, for that few months, I was training with the first team, and he kind of took me under his wings, and like after practice, he would talk to me and tell me what I need to work on. So he was, and even in preseason last. The, the first year we went to preseason, they took a few academy guys in preseason, and he was one of my roommates, and he, yeah, he was a big, big, big mentor.